These days, the picture that the camera takes may well not be the picture that we end up seeing in newspapers and magazines. Technology makes it difficult, maybe even impossible, to tell what's real and what's not. Recently, the issue of altering photographs came up when Playboy added its logo to a picture of Roseanne Arquette without her knowledge or her approval. And then there was a huge publicity outcry last year when TV Guide tacked Oprah Winfrey's head onto Ann Margaret's body. Russell Brown is a senior art director of Adobe Systems, a computer software company. He's busy at work today saying that with the right equipment, he can manipulate just about everything. You're already uh, starting to, already to manipulate started. photos this morning. <laughs> it's an early morning to get going. You here. are not a photographer. No, no, I'm not. You're a graphic artist. Yes. And yet you have taken photography as the medium in which you've been able to do some of your most interesting work. Oh, yeah, I, I see the, uh, the computer is a wonderful tool for graphic artists, and I wouldn't live without it. It's just a must. What's so bad about monkeying with the photograph and putting himself with Ronnie and Nancy? Well, the thing is that photographs we still tend to believe as a society. If an eyewitness says they saw something, we might say maybe they're wrong, maybe a government denies it. It's one person's word against another. But my concern is that if the media takes to doing what Russell is demonstrating now, uh, that people, the public, will begin to disbelieve photographs generally, and it won't be as effective and powerful a document of social communication as it has been for the last 150 years. Rick, you bought that? Well, I mean, I think that every time there's a new technology like this, um, there are a lot of ethical questions which have to be answered. I think the first thing that happens is that the artists, the creative people, wow, you know, Russell and his company have invented Photoshop. Let's play with it. Let's see what's going to happen. And what if, what if that, what if the, the cowboy was from one photographer, and the tree was from another photographer, and the third person actually combined the two images? This is something Russell and I talk about all the time. Who owns mm -hmm. the image? Who has the copyright? The idea of a photograph is it's taken at a certain instant, and you're not supposed to be able to go back in time and move the photographer a few feet to one side. That's against what, what we think of photography as being. How do you respond to these kinds of arguments, Russell? Um, as a graphic artist, I see this as a tool that I have, and I would never give it up. <laughs> I, it's something I'm going to have and always use. And, but I'm going to be very ethical with it. I think you should tell your audience that you can do this for $800 now. It used to cost a million two years ago. So with, anybody can do with it. With Macintosh and Photoshop, that's all you need. We have met the enemy and he it's may be us. It's here to stay. Okay. <laughs>